Governor Larry Hogan has largely avoided questions about fellow Republican Donald Trump during the campaign. After a speaking engagement at the Baltimore Jewish Council tonight, we asked the governor this nuanced question. Will you be voting for a, a presidential candidate on election day? Probably, yeah. But you say you don't support Donald Trump. Well, I said I wouldn't endorse Donald Trump, and uh, that hasn't changed. So you would vote for him? Don't have any idea yet. I'll, when I get behind the curtain, I'll make that decision. Some Republican elected leaders nationwide have rescinded their Trump endorsements after Trump claimed Judge Gonzalo Curiel has a conflict of interest in presiding over the Trump University lawsuit on account of his Mexican heritage. Maryland Republican U.S. Senate candidate Kathy Shalega has said she supports whomever is her party's presidential nominee. This week on Facebook, she called Trump's comments about the judge insulting and racist. I said uh, repeatedly over and over again I wasn't happy with the choices in either party. Um, and I've been talking about it for five months, but there's nothing new to talk about. Thank you. Are his comments about that judge racist in your mind? Democrats have tried to pin down Republicans on whether they support Trump. It's imperative that all elected officials including the governor, say what they think and say that these are inappropriate comments. Political analyst Dr. Malia Cromer says the Trump candidacy puts Republicans in a tough spot, for some more so than others. Now for Kathy Shalega, she needs to disavow the comments by, by Trump because she needs moderate Democrats and she needs independents to win. Larry Hogan has a buffer. He has until 2018 before he has to run again. Governor Hogan's approval rating has consistently been in the 60 to 70 percent range. Hogan has said he has no plans to attend the Republican convention. We're live in the studio. George Lattice, WBAL, TV 11 News.